Not only is tahini really nutritional, it's also extremely easy to make and tastes absolutely incredible. The main thing that I use tahini for is to make hummus, but you can use it for salads, salad dressings, dips, toppings, and so much more. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right guys, let's start this off by weighing out two and a half cups or 350 grams of whole sesame seeds. Place a large skillet onto your stovetop over a medium high heat and add the seeds to the pan to which we can then mix and stir for one and a half to two minutes to toast the seeds. Whilst doing this, concentrate on keeping the seeds at the edge of the pan moving as they will toast a lot faster and also depending on the type of pan you have, they might toast faster or slower. But what we're looking for is a nice golden color and in doing this, this is going to massively enhance the flavor, giving us a strong nutty flavor and help extract their oils which will then produce a greater end product. Anyway, once your seeds are beautifully golden brown, they can then be removed from the heat and placed onto a heat resistant surface or into a bowl to cool down for 30 minutes. Okay, so now that the sesame seeds have cooled down, we can transfer them into a blender or food processor, adding in two and a half tablespoons or 50 milliliters of olive oil, which will add flavor, a silky texture and help with the blending. To this, add in half a teaspoon or 2.5 grams of sea salt flakes for a touch of seasoning, to which we can then move on and lock the lid in place. Turn the machine onto the highest setting and process or blend those ingredients for 45 seconds which will start to break down those seeds and turn them into a paste. 45 seconds later we can then switch the machine off, pop the lid open and then grab a spatula to scrape down the sides of the bowl as lots of seeds will not be fully processed. This is something that will need to be done at least a couple of times throughout this recipe too, just to make sure that we're getting the best possible results. Anyway, once that's done, lock that lid in again nice and tight, turn the machine onto the highest setting and continue processing the ingredients for two to three minutes, depending on the power of your blender or processor. Also, I just want to clear something up. The way I do my tahini is I leave a slight little crunch to it for texture. So if you want a completely smooth tahini, process it for a minute longer, as well as adding in a further half a tablespoon or 10 milliliters of olive oil to help it achieve a really smooth consistency. Okay guys, so this has now been two and a half minutes and is looking nice and smooth, which means we can then turn this off, remove the blender bowl from the base, and pour that delicious tahini into an extremely clean or sterilized jar or container. Like I was saying before, you can see that in the consistency there is a slight crunch, which is amazing, but if you want it smoother, simply blend it more. This then leaves us with an amazingly fresh tahini, which is ready for all of your favorite dishes, or in other words, we can then dig in. So that's it for this quick and easy and extremely delicious tahini. This recipe right here makes one and a half cups worth and can easily be double, tripled and so on. And to store it, simply place it in the fridge in an airtight container or glass jar for up to five months, or you can place it in the freezer in an airtight container for up to one year. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button so my channel can be seen by more people and consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss one I upload. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.